Hello, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I felt like just sitting and playing with makeup. I have been watching a whole lot of John Krasinski's Some Good News that he's been putting out every Sunday night on YouTube, and it's kind of inspired me that I really just wanna sit and chat about good stuff. There's a whole lot of crap going on in the world right now, and of course you are 100% entitled to feel your feelings. Your feelings are completely valid. I have so many days that are really not good days, especially lately, but I'm trying as hard as I can to focus and pick out the good stuff in my life because there really is a lot. I am very lucky. So I just kinda wanna sit down and talk about good stuff, happy stuff, good vibes. A few videos ago, I mentioned that I was selected as Moda Brush's Moda Maven of the Month and I'm still kind of buzzing about it. So this video is also sponsored by Moda Brushes. I got to pick a brush set this month that I wanted to feature and I went with the 13 piece full face wrap kit. I showed this to you in that last video but I, I need to show it to you again. So it comes with this wrap and then you open it up, flip it up the flap, flip flap, and you've got 12 brushes and the wrap to make this a 13 piece kit. And this really has everything you need from face brushes to eye brushes, complexion, everything like that. It's a full kit and I just, I love the Moda Pro line so much. They are synthetic hairs, so these are cruelty free and they are, I'm telling you, some of the softest brushes you will ever feel. I'm gonna be using this full kit to do my face today and only this kit and I will pop the brush names on the screen as I'm using them. All the makeup that I'm putting on my face will be listed in the description box down below. It's right below this video. If you click show more, you'll be able to see a list of everything that I'm using with links to where you can buy it if you would like. And also, if you are interested in the brush kit or any Moda brushes at all, for the month of May, if you use my code GLITTERFALLOUT, you will get 20% off your whole purchase, which is pretty banging, and they commonly have sales, so make sure you check back. But before we get into putting makeup on my face, it is time to light the cat candle. I only light this candle while I am filming and there's a metal cat skeleton inside. His head is very droopy and I'm convinced it's gonna fall off at any second. We can even see the spine and it has become very difficult to light. All right, the cat is on fire. We can officially start. And also for all you guys who always ask me where you can get this candle, I do have it also linked in the description box down below in my Amazon store. And you'll find this under holiday gifts, but it is it's just amazing and everyone needs one or 50. I'm trying to grow out these bangs so I can do some like layers when all of this is over. So right now they're just these little tiny pieces that have me feeling a whole lot like Prince Valium from Spaceballs. If you have not been watching John Krasinski's Some Good News, I'm also gonna link that. It is absolutely amazing. So basically what he's doing is he is sourcing out just good, happy news right now. People that are honoring our frontline health workers, people that are just going above and beyond during these times because, you know, they're, they're scary times. There's a whole lot of bad, scary news out there, but he's just kind of focusing on the good. But it's not like completely fluff news, if that makes sense. When I think of fluff news, I think of like those newscasters who are like, 64 people died in a ferry boat accident off the coast of Scotland. Now here's a water skiing squirrel. He's just focusing on honoring people that are going above and beyond and just, like I said, doing good things. In one recent episode, he basically took the class of 2020, who's really not getting their graduation, who's not getting their prom. He's given them virtual proms and a virtual graduation and virtual graduation speakers. Like uh, he had Oprah as one girl's graduation speaker. And oh my God, I was low key jealous. But I just find that it really like lifts my mood every week. I watch it every Monday morning. He puts it on on Sunday nights, but I save it till Monday morning to watch because I feel like it starts my week off on like happy, a positive, and I can do this kind of note. Speaking of John Krasinski, which is kind of a transition phrase I never thought I would use. My husband and I are literally uh, almost a decade late to the game, but we just started watching the American version of The Office. We've never seen the British version, but we just decided to start the American version and we are now on season three. I think we're like midway through season three because each episode is only like 20 minutes long when it's on Netflix, which is like, that's my sweet spot. I'm loving it. Oh my God, I love it so much more than I thought I would. It is just, it's also like a good release. Like if I've had a stressful day at work because I am still working full time from home, it's really nice to be able to tune into this, you know, uh, this thing where it's just, I don't know, it's just silly and 
I, I have a feeling, don't spoil this for me, but I have a feeling things are gonna get more emotional <laughs> at some point. But as of right now, there have only been a few little emotional points, but nothing, nothing too crazy. I want you to comment down below. I'm gonna say this and you should pause the video and comment down below who you think my favorite character is. I asked this on Instagram and everybody got it wrong. So who did you say? Who did you say? It's Kevin. I love Kevin and I don't know why Kevin is my absolute favorite, but something about him speaks to my very soul. He is goofy. He is funny. I, I just, I love Kevin. I love Kevin so much, but I genuinely love every one of the characters for a different reason. I just, I adore them so much. Like I even love Angela because Angela is just purely Angela. I just want her and Dwight to be happy. I'm only in season three, don't spoil anything. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna start doing the eyes. I gotta go back to the face later, but we'll get to that. So yes, I am just, I am loving The Office. Like we just passed the Prison Mike episode. And I mean, you'd have to live under a rock to have not seen the memes of Prison Mike for the last, you know, whatever it is, almost 10 years. So I knew Prison Mike was coming. I was still not prepared. <laughs> like, I can't believe how many memes just come from The Office. Like these happy memes that I've been using even though I had never seen it up until now, I've still been using all these memes for years. And like, I just, I don't know. Now that I'm kind of finding out the stories behind all of them, it makes it that much better. It's just, it's such a good show. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it. Um, and now I'm curious about the British version. Is it worth watching? Because I feel like parties are sort of divided on that of whether or not it's worth it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious now. So I feel like I ask this every time, but I want to know what you guys are watching right now and what you're loving. I know a lot of my friends have been kind of going back, like, uh, yes, a lot of them are watching new things, but a lot of them are like going way back. Like I have a friend who just started re-watching uh, Desperate Housewives and another friend who just started re-watching Sex and the City. And apparently that show does not hold up well from what I hear. I did definitely watch Sex and the City when it was on from front to back and I loved it at the time, but I can totally see how it may not stand the test of time as well. But I mean, I think it was really groundbreaking for the time that it was on, right? But we did finish watching Ozark and whoo, that was a ride. That was, that was one hell of a ride. It is definitely an intense show and I found that it was making me really anxious, but I couldn't stop watching it. Um, I enjoyed it a lot though. Like, I feel like if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, then you would like Ozark. Jason, Jason, Jason. Jason Bateman is just fantastic. And Laura Linney, I feel like is one of those actresses who doesn't get enough credit. I always forget that Laura Linney was also in Love Actually, which I mean, there are two types of people. There are people that love Love Actually and people that are wrong. I can watch that movie year round. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It doesn't have to be winter. It's a, it's a year round movie. I'm throwing down that gauntlet. One weird thing is that I started looking up when Ozark season four was gonna be coming out because I feel like so many people started watching Ozark during all of this and it's not coming out until April of 2021. So I have to wait a whole year. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I will survive. So in other news, um, I have been trying to get back into my routines. Like when we first went into, I mean, I guess quarantine, lockdown, whatever you wanna call it, we had purchased a whole lot of food that was like shelf stable food, just in case, you know, we absolutely couldn't go out to the grocery stores or in case all the grocery stores ran out of food, like we didn't know what was going on, right? So we bought a whole lot of mac and cheese and pastas and, uh, rice dishes with like lots and lots of preservatives, things like that. And I just started feeling kind of icky. So I've started getting back to eating like I normally did. Like I, I've been trying for a while to eat food with less preservatives and things like that. Just, I don't know, I figure, I figure it couldn't hurt. So to suddenly be eating all these foods like mac and cheese, which God, it's delicious, but you know, I just didn't feel great afterwards, like physically, not, you know, not mentally. Mentally, I was like, mac and cheese is the bomb. But physically, I just wasn't feeling great. I felt like real bloaty and stuff like that. So I've been getting back into that. And oh, I'm nervous to even say this out loud, but today I just signed up for a virtual uh, personal trainer. She's not quite a personal trainer. She's more like a group trainer 
but you get you know access to a Facebook group that is just full of really supportive people you get access to an app so you can do either at home workouts or gym workouts and I might switch it once my gym reopens but right now you know my gym is very much not open and even if it was I wouldn't feel comfortable going there yet but so I'm just doing my workouts at home um, but I just signed up today so I will let you guys know how it's going I'm not looking for massive changes I'm not looking to drop 95 pounds and look all super tight like I still I still want to eat pizza and stuff like that I just want to feel more comfortable you know what I mean like I, I will admit that I have fallen into wearing lots of clothes with lots of stretchy waistbands so I think it'll maybe make me feel a little more comfortable because we probably will be going back into the office at some point not too distant in the future which is so nuts to think about like I don't know I think I was talking about this with my friend Sam and I think people are finally starting to like breathe again does that make sense like we are so not out of the woods yet and we're not going to be out of the woods for quite some time but I think people are finally starting to like breathe and feel a little bit more comfortable again and I just hope that people stay safe I think they will but I like to see people just feeling happy again like there there is an end in sight I have to say one kind of good thing that's come out of all of this is that there were these relationships that I had kind of on the side, like friend relationships, people I talked to only online a little bit. And I swear, I know I've talked about Marco Polo and I'm like beating a dead horse here, but I feel so much closer to so many people. Like I have become, I, I think I'm safe in saying friends, like more than just acquaintances, you know, but actual like friends with this group of amazing people on YouTube. Like for a while there, I was so focused on watching the big YouTubers all the time, the people who have millions of followers and everything like that. And it just, it wasn't making me feel very good because you have a tendency to compare yourself to these people, you know what I mean? To um, people that have these mansions in LA and they're just, they're doing amazing things and you're so happy for them because they worked hard to get there. But at the same time, um, you know, I'm a girl who works a desk job full time and I live in Baltimore. So it's kind of hard to associate myself with somebody who is wearing Gucci 24 seven and living in Beverly Hills and things like that. Those people, again, they worked hard to get there, but that's just, that's not my vibe. So I've started to like really focus my time, really pay attention to focusing my time on YouTubers with even a slightly small, like smaller following. Like, and I don't necessarily mean, you know, they have 100 subscribers, but I just mean they're not millionaires yet. And maybe they will. And if they do, I'm gonna be the first one cheering them on. But it's just, you know, it's, it's just a different vibe. And I have been talking with a lot of these girls on women, sorry, on Marco Polo. And I feel like it's just been so great, first of all, to see people in person and just like look somebody in the eye and talk to them because I haven't done that in so long. But it's been really great to get to know these people over time. I have been doing a lot of Marco Polo with, uh, let's see. So of course, Sarah, Better Off Red. Love her, absolutely love her. Um, you know, we've, we've hung out in person several times and she's just a sweet baby angel. So also Kate the Great, Kate the Great Beauty here on YouTube. She does these fantastic live streams that if you haven't watched them, you need to check them out where it's literally just, you feel comfortable just sitting there and you can have a glass of wine and do your makeup if you feel like it. Or sometimes she does mask, like face masks. And it's just a really kind of chill time. And I love the vibe of it. And there's such a good community of people. And Kate herself is just amazing. She's just such a good person with a solid head on her shoulders. And she's just, I don't know, a happy personality. Then there's my new girlfriend, Britt Clark, who I talked about in last week's video. I adore Britt with my whole heart and my whole soul, and she is a goddess. But she's, again, just one of those people who's always happy and energetic. Like, it's funny because a lot of you guys will comment like, Linda, I love your energy and blah, blah, blah. The thing is, I'm like this 24 seven. <laughs> And it's a lot for some people, and I totally, totally get that. But Britt, I feel like, is on that same wavelength. She's just always, like, up and cheerful and do, 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 do. So we do very well on Marco Polo. You should see us. Like, I will look on my phone, and I will have a Marco Polo from her, and it'll be, like, 6 a.m., and she'll be like, what's up, girl? 
Do I want to do glitter liner or is that gonna ruin everything? I'll do a scooch, just a scooch. So obviously Sam, Samantha March, um, we've been chatting so much on Marco Polo and I just, I adore her. She is, it's funny because as much as like, on the same wavelength that I love Brit for her energy, Sam is just so chill and so like friendly and just relaxed and like we, we've talked like, it's so funny too because our Marco Polo is usually like, it's not that weird for me to send her a Marco Polo that's like 10 minutes long or 15 minutes long and to get one back because we'll just like talk and just talk about everything like you know what are we eating what are we liking about youtube and you know what videos have you watched this week and it's just so good to connect with people right now in any way that you can and i've just had such a good time talking to them i don't know it, it's it's helped me through all of this and I, again like i said whatever helps you through right now i'm so for people doing that it's interesting my husband and i have been trying to find like little ways maybe to get out of the house that are safe uh, we've been trying to eat and get takeout from a lot of local places around here, not only to support, obviously, that, you know, that's very important that you support your local businesses, but also just, it helps to get out of the house, even for a second, just to pick up some food. And of course, you know, we're wearing our masks, we're doing everything, but I also found out via Facebook that my favorite food truck in the world was going to be by my house. So I was like, yes, you know what? We need to do this. And we went and it was such a good experience. Like everybody was standing in line. There were like tape marks on the ground for where you should be standing. And everyone was obeying that. Everyone was in masks. The food truck people were just, they seemed just so happy that people were supporting them. And it was just, it was such a nice experience. And we just sat in our car and ate our tacos. And I was so happy. It is the best food truck ever. If you are in the Baltimore area, make sure you check out Taco Bar Food Truck. They are so, so good. My eyebrows have been looking so crazy lately because I'm trying to grow them out. I've been talking about this, but I really want to save up and do microblading when, you know, everything kind of starts to go back to normal. Just because I am, I'm not great at doing my brows at all. So I really just kind of want them to be done for me so that I have to put in as little effort as possible. I want you all to tell me in the comments below good things in your life lately. I really do. Like, what have you been loving? What TV shows have you been watching? What books have you been reading? One thing that I think has been really kind of cool during all this is that people are finding, you know, I talked about Marco Polo, but people are finding just new and different ways to connect with each other. Uh, I know that I've been on a couple of Zoom happy hour calls and it was funny because I have a standing happy hour with my friends via Zoom every Monday and it started getting to the point where we were like, okay, we're all just kind of sitting here staring at each other, you know, after a while and it was, it's great, but you know, we need, we need something more. But now we've started incorporating trivia into it and making it a game night, uh, which I love. It goes by so fast, which is the only kind of bummer to it, but it's just, it's so much fun. We have a friend who does a regular trivia night here in Baltimore, and he's the one kind of hosting it for us, and he's a fantastic host. This week we did 80s and 90s trivia. I think I got second place. I was a little bummed about that, but there were some really hard questions there at the end. It was like, how much money did Titanic make in the theaters? And we're like, <laughs> and I've been doing a whole lot of like virtual fitness classes and I know people who are taking virtual, you know, Spanish classes and I love that people are finding new things to do. And no, that doesn't mean you have to. You handle this however you need to handle it, but it's just, it's interesting to see how people are doing with this. I'm gonna zoom out to do the rest of my face. We've also been trying to cook a lot more as I think most people are. But one thing I will tell you that is not helping is that Disney keeps releasing the official recipes for all of the amazing foods that they serve in the parks. And there is one that they just came out with and it is my number one favorite food to eat at Disney when I go. And that is the beer cheese soup from Le Cellier in Epcot. It is amazing and it is, it's the greatest thing on earth. Like I can't describe how good it is. I mean, you're essentially eating a bowl of melted cheese. Oh God, that sounds really good, right? 
but it is, it's so much more than that. It is so, so, so good, and they just released the recipe, and I might have to make it. And yes, I did just talk about personal training and getting a little bit healthier, right in the same breath that I talked about eating a bowl of melted cheese. Yeah. So I want you all to tell me, what has been your weird quarantine purchase? Because I love seeing and hearing about these purchases that people have made and they'll be like, well, I guess I was up at 3 a.m. buying, you know, socks for a bird over here or something. I actually haven't had any weird quarantine purchases, I don't think. Like, I've definitely purchased, I purchased makeup from Sephora during their sale um, and I'm going to be talking about that at some point when my second order finally gets here. Uh, but other than that, nothing's been too weird, I'd say. But one of my friends bought a like 1983 Mr. T jewelry, plastic jewelry set on eBay. And that was like a quarantine purchase. She was like, do I need this? Nope, do I want it? Yeah, sure, why not? So let me know what your weird purchase has been because I seriously just, I love hearing about these so much. I don't know why they crack me up. I just, I love it. I love also, have you all been having some like crazy dreams during all this? And they're not even bad dreams, the ones that I've been having, but I've just, I've been having some like really weird dreams. Like I had a dream that I adopted a pet and it was a boar that like breathed fire. Okay. Also, has anyone cut their hair during all this? Cause I will admit I did cut my bangs a little bit just to trim them, but my hairstylist is so rad and she did a like Zoom call with me so that we could, you know, cut it together in a way and she was really guiding me. She's like, hold it. No, 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 like move your fingers down, move your fingers down. It's like, okay, because I was so scared that I was just gonna chop it all off. I am not one of those people who instinctively knows how to do my own hair. So she just sat with me on the phone and uh, helped me, walked me through it, calmed me down a little bit. So here is the final look, and I wanna thank you guys for just sitting with me and chatting, and I hope maybe you were doing your makeup at the same time or just chilling, maybe having a cup of coffee, having your water. Make sure you're drinking your water, stay hydrated. <laughs> I also want to say thank you again to Motobrush for sponsoring me this month. I just was so excited to be able to work with them. And this kit, again, is the 13-piece full face wrap kit. I'm going to link it down below. My code is GLITTERFALLOUT if you want to get 20% off any purchase. And if you made it to this point in the video, congratulations, because over on my Instagram, there is going to be a giveaway of this 13-piece full face kit. So keep your eye out. It's going to be a good one, and you're going to want to enter. I do put out new videos here on YouTube every Monday morning, so if you liked this video, it would mean the world to me if you'd hit the subscribe button below or give this video a thumbs up, share it. It really does help YouTubers when you do things like like, comment, share. It's just such a huge help and it lets YouTube and the rest of the world know that these are the kind of videos that people might wanna see. So that is it. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And you, like you, right there, you are super freaking rock stars. <laughs> I love you guys so much with my whole heart. I'm feeling the good vibes. Are you feeling the vibes with me? And I will see you in the next video. Bye.